Hello everyone, my name is Aditya and today we're going to continue to look at the storefront UI Figma files and how to customize them using the component system. Today let's start with looking at arrows. Arrows are the first component that are in the storefront UI storybook. Here you can see all the different kinds of arrows we can use. Uh, there's one to the right, top, down, long, transparent, round, and no shadow. So here they are in, the, in our Figma design file. You'll notice right away that the up and down arrows are not included here. I found it to be easier to, instead of creating separate components for them, to just rotate the existing arrows that we have right here. And also there's no component for the no shadow version because for that you can go into the component and turn off the shadow. To show you how to use these in, a, in, our, in the designs, um, let's first take a look at an example of them being used in the storefront, you, in the view storefront demo site. So right here on the home page, uh, if we scroll down right here, there's a carousel right here of products so we have best sellers and four or five products right here and if you can see there's arrows right here so in our figma file here's our home screen uh, let's zoom in right here now this block right here itself is a component so, but for the purposes of this demo we're going to go ahead and detach this from its master component so that we can edit right here without making any changes to the master we have the enable status one right here, and we have the hover one right here. So for now, we're going to see about how we can turn this into for how we can turn this into a circle arrow. So to do that, we're going to go up right here into our instances, and you can see right here right away I can choose between hover and enabled. So if I want to do choose between those. And if I want to find other arrows to choose from, I can go to components, and these are so sorted exactly the same way they are in the storybook. So you can go to atoms and arrows. And in arrows, we already have long selected. So what we can do instead is go into the round ones, and we want the right arrow, and we want to choose the hover one for now. So as you can see right here, the component doesn't come out looking exactly how we want it to look right away. So this is, a pro uh, this is something that we have to work with in Figma, which is when you swap between instances, the components, the new component that you swap to assumes the size of the previous component you had. Uh, so this is something that we have to deal with right now. And in the future, if I find a solution, I'll update, I'll give you guys an update in that video, in a video when I find it. So for now, what, you what we can do is quickly just go over here and just since we know the, and this is supposed to be a circle, we can just type in 40 uh, and we have our circle arrow right here. And we can swap this between hover and enable states so we can quickly see what that looks like compared to the old one. And we can do this for this, do the same thing over here too real quick, just go into components, arrows, round, left, and enabled. And here we go and just hit 40 by 40 here too, and there we go. We can quickly just center these. So even though this doesn't, this isn't um, a perfect solution and there's still some manual intervention needed, it still reduces the work that a designer has to do themselves by quite a bit, I think, and I think it'll help everybody who uses it. So for now, I'm just gonna undo all my changes so, I don't, so that the original stays correct. And yeah, so this is a nice and easy way to change around your components. And yeah, here, let me see. And so quickly what you can do for the no shadow component is once you come in over here, you can just turn this shadow off right here and you have yourself the no shadow component right here. If, there's, if you still have some questions about how to use the arrow component, um, 
you can leave a comment and otherwise I'll see you in the next video for how to use badges in the storefront design system.